Hello class, this is Charlie and thanks for your excellent work on the current state diagrams and current state narratives that you provided this week um, for week four. Week five what we'll be do is our future state diagram along with our initialized requirements package. There's a separate video about the initialization of your requirements package. I'm just going to focus on the future state diagram in this video. So this image you're seeing here is taken from the infographic that I created uh, to show you the overall the cycle of the facilitation of, of cycles of facilitation and the cycles of analysis. And of course we've been using the facilitation cycle provided in our text from Michael Wilkinson, the Secrets of Facilitation text. And we're just getting into this uh, this tight cycle that he has uh, defined in chapters 5, 6, and 7, which is focusing the group, the power of the pen, and information gathering. And perhaps we've used this in our, in our pet store uh, story or in our own personal story. We've used this to build a, a charter. And a charter doesn't have to be necessarily be a Microsoft Word template. It could just be a list of things that I've depicted here with just this uh, this thought bubble with these three items we've decided uh, that are that make up our project or what our project needs in order to be successful. Here you'll recognize the list of important things, processes, people, and location. And you'll see that this is from a project that actually I am doing myself. And we're doing uh, a credit card payment on demand with, uh, with our invoicing, uh, with our agreements and where I work. And so I list those things. And then you'll see here the current state that I drafted up which was today in order to license a technology customers download a PDF fill it out print it complete it sign it scan it and attach it to an email and send it to the C4C so I'm giving a narrative of how things work today and, and you you folks have already done that and you did a good job the future state I'd like for you to take the same the same uh, style of narrative same style of diagram and just depict what is not going to be happening in the, what is going to be happening in the future and remove those things which are not going to be uh, present in the future. So your current state, future state should look as though you spun them from the same cloth if you will. They should look similar in style and color uh, and so that you can readily depict the differences uh, and perhaps use some special color to uh, represent uh, what the what those things are that are are wholly new those things that are really a, a big difference that you're delivering so I, I talk about here about how I'm removing all of these manual processes and how things are going to be in the future you can see uh, the difference between all of these printing and scanning and sending and resending now is much more automated there is not any no need for any printing and scanning in my future my future state so what this does for us is it really sets us up to have the conversation about the decomposition of our data, our processes and people, location, timing and decisions so that we're able to iterate on the models from high level low complexity to low level highly complex or highly detailed very specific diagrams or models and we do that for each of the dimensions and you'll notice that there's a lot more to do in certain dimensions than there is in others and that would be normal okay we can't get to our agile state here down at the bottom until we do all of this work uh, when we're uh, in the agile state we'll be able to write help our uh, product owner write user stories or perhaps we're the product owner we can write our own user stories share these user stories with developers and then draft the acceptance criteria at that point our user story work would would take us into the point where we're now agile all of this work above is really not part of the agile process it's getting us ready to be agile and it's creating a library of information that we can refer to and that we can refer others to so that to help them understand exactly what's going on in our in our in our agile cycle that's depicted here and that's where we're headed and uh, just wanted to provide you just this brief information so what is due 
create a narrative of your future state along with a diagram. Some of you have already done this. It was just easy for you to just, just as well turn in the current state as it was the future state, and that's great. Those of you who haven't, it's fine. So you can you can just complete it and this will be done this will be due in week 5. All right. Thank you very much.